This is how it goes. I go on YouTube, check my messages. If there's anything to reply to, I reply. If there isn't, I uh, search up the word feminism every freaking day. Filter out to today and look at whatever stupid video there is on the internet. And if there's a feminist on YouTube that I feel like I need to respond to, then I am I will not hesitate to make a video destroying this particular person's logic. However, when I just a few hours ago, I uh, recently encountered a uh, video that's nothing. It's nothing based on feminism however it has 100 percent relevance towards atheism and homosexuality <sighs> and then i decided why not and i decided to do a little bit of snooping around on this guy's channel i thought it was gonna be a joke because you know like no 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 one could be this stupid no one he must be trolling after searching around, I come to the conclusion, and I must take off my hat, stare deeply into your guy's eyes, and tell ya, this shit is no fucking joke. I am dead freaking serious. And... You know what really confirmed on how serious this guy is? He actually has something, uh, some sort of donation site. Um, let's see, it says www.gofundme.com where he's trying to dis destroy the gay agenda. What he needs is $4,900 to do so. Apparently... It, it, apparently it takes money in order to convert someone into being straight I am not joking what this guy has to say on this page is ridiculous and here's a few screenshots to show you that I am NOT joking around HOLY FUCK IS THIS WRONG! And, uh, I, it, 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 this is ridiculous. This is outstandingly stupid and ignorant. Like, he posted his phone number on a place that's public. Who does that? Who in the world fucking does that? That's incredibly dumb. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh. I don't know. Maybe it's, you know, to his Skype or maybe it's towards something. Maybe that's not private. Maybe it's his business number. I mean, I got nothing. This guy is literally this stupid. Just take a look at his donation site. Link's in the description. Go ahead. Take a look. No, I'm just being around the bush 
And you know, you guys want me to make a video response towards this guy, right? You really want me to. So I'm gonna give it to you guys. Who knows? Maybe I make it might make a few extra videos on this guy because goddamn this guy is crazy. Loco. Nuts. Today I'm going to talk about why the opposition to homos will never go away. I have seven reasons. First one, Bible and God. As Christian, if you go against Bible doctrine that says homosexuality is a sin, you're not a Christian anymore. The quotes that you're talking about is in the Old Testament, not the New Testament. In the New Testament, there's only about three that mentions homosexuality, but isn't directed towards homosexuality. It's directed more towards prostitution. And, you know, there are gay prostitutes, lesbian prostitutes out there. There's even girls with dicks. Just saying. Uh, let's see. Hmm. If you are, in fact, supporting the Old Testament, then you know what, what else you have to do. You have to make sure that women are not the leaders in your specific group. You know, women can't be leaders in the churches. Only men can, you know. And you also support slavery because, you know, slavery is okay in the, in the Old Testament and in the New Testament as well. I think. Uh, you do realize the Bible is anti-woman, right? As long as Christian, as true Christian around, they will always oppose this sinful behavior. Okay, who are you to say who's a true Christian and who is not? Okay? To me, a true Christian is someone who follows both the Old Testament and the New Testament. It doesn't nitpick between each testament. Uh, and the only group of people that I can think of that is those from the WBC, or the Westboro Baptist Church. Because at least with them, I can give them the common courtesy to say that they don't at least nitpick the Bible. I mean... Sure, they still violate a few rules of the Bible, but at least they're the closest group of people, you know, who are actually doing their very best to follow everything in the Bible. Page by page. Second reason. Christian. They think, we think, Homosexuality is a sign of end of time. If it's a sign of end of time, we're not just going to reject it, but we're going to preach against it. We're going to protest against it. Well, if that's the case, why hasn't the world ended a years ago? I mean, I've been hearing this shit that the world's going to come to an end, that Jesus Christ's going to come soon. A hundred years later, Jesus Christ is still coming soon. <sighs> homosexuality has been around for decades you know ever since like somewhere around the roman times even before the christ before the birth of jesus christ oh dear lord so we can save more souls that's the second reason one thing that, that is happening is that we have many former gays. People actually that has been on that side is now opposing it. This is why it's dismantling homo agenda. No, they're still pretty gay. Or, you know, maybe they're bisexual. People are born gay, according to s certain scientific studies and this one YouTube video that I found. Uh, links in the description. 
But even if you manage to convert some people into being straight, like if that was possible, it's because you're doing it under the name of a god. That they fear that if they do these sins, that God is going to send them straight to hell. Yes, this all-loving deity is going to burn you for all of eternity because you like penis. That's how stupid God is. Gays are not gays. They, it's a behavior. They're not. That's not the way they are. How the fuck do you know that? Were you ever gay in your life? Ever? And hell, if that was the case, then how come, uh, you know, there are gay animals? Explain that, please. There, please, explain. Why can there be gay animals, but not gay humans? Hmm, I wonder... The fourth reason. Homosexuality, there's, there's any source that support homosexuality. All the sources are against it. Anybody who cherish math, homosexual, it's anti-math, it doesn't, math doesn't work. It's anti-science, it's anti-nature, anti-morality, anti-rationality, anti-own eyesight. How in the world is being gay anti-math or anti-science or anti-rationality, anti-anything? I don't think it's anti-anything except for maybe being anti-straight because that's what being gay is. It's not being straight. And sexuality itself is basically complicated. Like, we haven't figured out everything about ourselves. I mean, this is all just a big freaking mystery. But just because it's still a mystery doesn't mean that God must have done it or, you know, therefore it's bad because we don't have all the answers. It's, it's ridiculous on the things that you have said so far. Hell, Candy KO10 has much more sense than you, Andy. Anybody who care about any of those things will oppose it. Right now, in the future, anytime. Fifth reason, nature. As long as nature exists, Nature is going to remind us that heterosexuality is the only sexuality by default. Please explain gay animals then. Please. And it's going to remind us that homosexuality is it's irrational. It's wrong. It's bad. If Mother Nature was in human form, she would most likely slap you across the fucking face. As long as nature, we're gonna have people who use nature to compare to this sinful behavior. Reason sixth. Your eyesight is the worst enemy for homosexuals. Um... Uh... Wow... Um... I got nothing. Nothing. Just play this fucking. Just play the. Holy fuck! Is this wrong? 
But holy hell, is it erotic? Your eyes transmit the message to your brain. If you don't ignore the message, you're always gonna think it is wrong. So what's your suggestion? That everyone go blind so that way we don't see the evil of homosexuality? Oh God, this is just wrong. This is just plain wrong. But, you know, I think what you're trying to do, you know, I think what you're trying to do right now, see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil, right? Well, you got one third of it right. The seventh prison, history. Right now, homosexuality is linked to the destruction of Roman Empire. Play the clip. Holy fuck is this wrong? And people want the lower for their mistake. That's why I have Russia and many other countries abandoning, making crime to be homosexual. There's always people along the history opposing it. Homosexuality will never be accepted because all the sources are against it. Or maybe you're just wrong. You couldn't be any more wrong than what you are, what you're saying right now. Jesus Christ, I haven't seen this stu much of stupidity since Candy KO 10. Wait a second. The poor, the poor speeches, the poor lack of evidence, the amount of stupidity. Oh my God. Let me just get my flash right. The atheist games turns out to be not an African. Somehow my assumption is wrong. Just like his assumption is wrong about the whole girl from Texas. I am not from Texas, you stupid brown fool. And we have this case history. Bad example from Roman Empire. And people are learning from that. That's the seventh reason. Why homosexuality will never come to pass. I am from Alabama. I have to repeat this so many times, but you have to not listen to me, just like I'm not listening to your stupidity, logic, bigotry of hatred that your so-called atheism kind is. When it comes to opposition, just the bottom foot, just, just to add one more thing. Homosexuals are so stupid and I don't wonder, <laughs> I'm not surprised because they think heterosexuality is not, is not the only sexuality. You have to be stupid not to know that. I don't know about you guys, but I have the feeling those two are closely related. I don't know if they're father or son, maybe they're, maybe he's the uncle or I don't know, but I have a very strong suspicion that those two are very, very related because they have so many similarities. I don't know how much more insanity I can take, but I really am hoping the likes of Mr. Repsion or maybe Bionic Dance, maybe Kota Dusty I really would be shocked if the amazing atheist, you know, decides to descend from his throne and actually take a look at this video and be like, Oh my god, this is a video that's worth responding to. Because the amount of stupidity is amazing. I don't know how desperate this guy is to get attention, but he got my attention, so I guess that's working. But I swear to god to you, and no... Saying that swearing to God isn't exactly say, meaning that I believe in God. It's just a term. So, don't start. <clears throat> but I swear to God that this guy is on par with that of Candy Kale 10. Whew. I think my sanity has reached its limit. 
brain just hurts from thinking about this guy. So thank you for watching. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out. Watching this video, click on the like button, subscribe to this channel for more videos, and of course, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and ugh, Google Plus. We all know Google Plus fucking sucks.